Hey guys, and welcome back to our Lago Watches 2. I've picked up another Accurist Retro Racer. I love this thing. Well, I love the all stainless steel version, which I've already picked up and reviewed. Um, but then I saw this variation with a sort of darker dial leather strap available in a sale recently. And I thought, yeah, why not? Let's grab this one and see how it compares. And I think these uh, represent pretty good value for money, especially when you consider they are watches sold in high street jewelers in the UK. They're made by Accurist. I picked this one up from h samuel uh, its retail price is 130 pounds normally that's 153 euros 169 us dollars but of course i would recommend picking them up in the sale if you are interested inside this watch you've got a miyota 0 s 21 quartz movement it hacks of course it doesn't hand wind because it's a quartz movement and there's no running seconds hand that's one of my very few gripes about this watch um, i guess you could start the stopwatch and leave that running but um but yeah anyway it's a good looking watch let's um, see how this one compares to the other one that i've got right there it is um for some reason when watches come from h samuel they never seem to have a lot of plastic on them there was a, a sticker on the case back um, but i think that was about it um right i am surprised actually how much i like this color variation um i don't think i like it more than the original one that i've got um but yeah, i like the color i like the splash of red and that almost brown sunburst dial actually goes really, really well. Um, the reason this is actually in its original box is because um, when I've posted content on these watches before, um, I've had people from the US say, oh, it's such a shame we can't get a hold of these watches. Well, I've picked a few up in this sale with that in mind. And I'm going to be offering them up for sale, or I am offering them um, to anybody in the US or anywhere around the world that can't get hold of accurate watches and um, for less than the retail price so you know i'm not looking to um stitch people up with the price um they were in the sale so i was able to pick them up pretty cheap and if i send them tracked and signed which costs around 25 dollars i can still send them under retail price um to anyone that wants one um, I've picked up a couple of each, that's all. So really not many. If you are interested in having either one of these, I've got um, two of each um, colour available. Um, I'm going to be keeping one of these, obviously, um, you know, and I've already got one of these. Um, but yeah, if you are interested, email me oldmantimegary at gmail.com. I mean, it's just uh, a beautiful watch. I really do like the look of this thing. Um, there's no running seconds hand, which is a little bit disappointing. And um, the Milanese bracelet, on this isn't fantastic it's okay um, let me just show it to you quickly it actually feels quite thick and substantial um yeah there we go we've got a couple of stickers on this look to show that they are um, brand brand new um but yeah it um it just doesn't feel like a premium premium um milanese bracelet and in fact the one i bought from aliexpress i featured it in a um in a video recently is the one that i actually that that bracelet that aftermarket bracelet from aliexpress is the one that i keep on my um watch but um yeah no running seconds hand but of course you can start the stopwatch if you want um it is obviously a quartz uh stop reset and um yeah um when i um received one of these i think it was this one the seconds hand was out of sync and actually correcting that was really easy you just pull the crown out um it's not a screw down crown it's just a pull crown to the second position and then you use um, button A to basically pick, um, you know, where you want the uh, chronograph seconds hand to basically start and stop. Of course, I'm going to reset it to the 12 o'clock position. There you go. Push the crown back in and that's it. Done. Um, start, stop, reset. Um, but let's get back to having a look at this um, brown leather strap version because um, that's the one I really want to focus on in this video. Get that back in there. Um, and the strap actually feels really nice. It looks nice. Um, it's not um, really, really soft, but it's also not too stiff. Um, decent bit of padding as you get towards the case. I mean, it looks nice. It's got that sort of rally strap detail. Goes nicely with the color of that sunburst dial and just the whole style of the strap with that white stitching. Um, the buckle is signed as well, which is nice. Um, doesn't feel like the best quality buckle. It just looks a little bit cheap, doesn't it? But, um, you know, not bad at all for the money. Not bad at all. Um, they retail for 130 pounds, um, you know, which is more than I would want to pay for this watch. 
um, which is why when I saw them in the in the sale discounted, um, yeah, I jumped on them because um, 130 pounds is a bit too much. But um, if you can pick them up discounted, I think they are a crack in addition to a, uh, a watch collection. Um, the finishing on the case is actually really quite good for the money. The brushing's nice. Um, I love that top surface. You've got radial or sunburst brushing on this little sort of rounded square case with a high polished chamfered edge all the way around and then um, vertical brushing on the sides of the case. And it does look nicely finished, doesn't it? Um, like I've already said, it's uh, a pull push crown, screw down case back. Uh, water resistance is, where does it say? 50 meters of water resistance, that's enough, isn't it? And if anyone's interested in the movement, it's the um, Miota Calibre OS21. And I shall put a link to the manual in the video description. Um, yeah, let's have a little fiddle with the start stop watch, shall we, on this one? Um, there we go. The hands on this one lining up, or the second hand lining up a little bit better. Look, that's hitting the markers nicely. Stop, reset, and. Um, then you've got a 24-hour sub-dial and then your minutes for the chronograph and your date above the six. And there it is. Um, let's get it on the wrist quickly. There it is. Very nice. I've got a seven and a quarter inch-ish wrist. Um, that dial really pops and shines, doesn't it? Um, those silver uh, sub-dials at the three and the nine are really glowing under this um, artificial light. Um, yeah, let's take it outside actually and get an outside wrist shot as well, I think. And with regards to the loom, it's not great, sadly. That is another weakness of this watch. Um, it's, you know, fairly common um, high street watches that are super affordable like this one. Well, I consider this to be a, a super affordable high street watch. Don't tend to have good loom, this watch, or a similar one has competed in a loom degradation comparison video on I Like Watches too, and it really didn't perform particularly well, sadly. So do bear that in mind um, if you are considering um, picking up this watch in the UK or if you're you know, somewhere else in the world and you want to email me. Um, yeah, just bear in mind that the loom isn't fantastic. But yeah, cracking looking watches. And um, I think that's the main reason for picking these up. Um, obviously, the movements aren't particularly exciting. I just love the way they look. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care, guys. Look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon.